Hello and welcome. After I've done uh, testing with my skin on uh, hands, uh, after one month I've seen really big improvement with uh, the quality of my skin on hands, I thought I will do similar thing with my face and generally with my whole body. Uh, but um, I had a problem. I don't like the brightness of the light, you know, the red light, especially the 660 nanometer. Uh, it's really shining and even if I put some goggles, um, that's um, still bright for me. And by the way, I actually want to have these uh, wrinkles around my eyes uh, and eyelids um, improved. So if I put goggles, of course, they will um, cover this area. So I would like, of course, to improve the quality of uh, my skin on the face. And, and, of, and if I put the goggles like this, then, uh, of course, my eyes and eyelids won't get the treatment, which um, I think they deserve. So I thought, how can I do it? I'm really willing to do the red light therapy every day for my face and um, uh, all this area um, for a month at least to check what's the difference. But um, I feel that uh, this light is really too bright for me. So I decided to do it this way. I know that the light most recommended for skin is red, 660 nanometers, but this exactly light is so bright for my eyes that um, I don't really feel comfortable for spending uh, five minutes uh, in front of the panel. So I thought I will instead of red light use just near infrared because it's invisible. In, when I stay in front of the near and infrared light, of course with my eyes closed, I um, feel comfortable, I don't feel too much brightness um, and I thought I will give it a go and see how it works. So I'm just sharing with you this information that um, if you have your red light therapy panel and um, you don't feel comfortable to sit in front of the very bright red light, it's just too bright um, for your eyes, then consider changing it for near infrared. Now it's near infrared and uh, you can still get the benefits because of course your body receives this light, but it's not so shiny, it's not so bright and um, you may uh, feel more comfortable uh, to do this red light therapy every day. It's actually, it's going to be near infrared light therapy. I thought I will share with you this tip because I think it may be useful for some people who uh, feel uncomfortable standing in front of the very bright light for 5 to 10 minutes every day. And when you use uh, panels like this where every other LED is uh, different, so it means one is red, one is near infrared, and if you turn only near infrared light, you will use only half of LED and half of the light. But um, you can, uh, for instance, extend the time of the session to compensate for this. And you can do it easily because you can comfortably stand uh, longer in front of the light if it doesn't really make your uh, eyes uncomfortable. If you like this video, please give it a thumb up. I really appreciate it. Share it with your friends who would also benefit from this information. Check out my website for more information about red light therapy, lights I use and recommend, and more discount codes. If you are new here, please consider subscribing and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.